Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna create a uh, an animation. I recently got a job uh, animating this character, and the client had found this character online, uh, and we found it on iStock. Uh, if you join iStock or if you paid for one month, it's $40. Uh, plus, you get to download 10, they give you 10 downloads. So, this was about $4 to download. So, wait, we downloaded the EPS, which is the vector um, version of this. And I will show you. Here it is. And um, I thought, great, we've got the vector version. It's scalable graphics. Easy. Um, and then I said, it'll be easy to uh, part it out and import as an SVG to Blender. But when I look at the wireframe, ooh, it's a mess. And so, if, if you look here, every single gradient has been saved as a different um, element. And so it's got gradients and every single gradient is a mask with the gradient being a separate object. So it, it is kind of a mess to part something like this out. So what I did is I just used PNGs. Um, I took a, I exported it as a PNG and then did it that way but before I saved it as a PNG I actually parted it out uh, and this is what it looks like parted out all of the moving parts I made them separate parts for example the upper arm the lower arm the hand and then when I bought the the when I bought the um, original it came with three different positions and I like this this um, hand position. So I grabbed this hand and I said, I'm gonna use it. So here it is. We're gonna start the hand in this position and then she will extend her arm to point to whatever she's pointing the letters. And so I parted them out like this and I'll show you how I did it. Um, it's it's easy enough um, you could do this in Inkscape I just don't have a lot of experience in Inkscape so I, I did it in Adobe Illustrator again you can do this in Inkscape um, so um, the way I parted it out I'm gonna grab this arm right up to here and move it out just move it out um, and then so this line doesn't bother us I'm gonna extend the artboard here <coughs> and you can see that it didn't come in uh, nicely so I'm gonna get this one move it over and then just get rid of it delete and so you can see that this is kind of messed up and I'm, I'm going to get rid of this shadow. I'm going to fix this one by moving this one point in. There it is. And then I need the, the lower arm. So I'm going to grab all of this up to here. I don't want to grab that piece and then move it. I'm going to move it down just so you can see what I went through. And so this is I'm going to add a point right about there and move it so that I can get a nice rounded end to this. And this is the upper arm. I need to get rid of this one. Select it, get rid of that point. Boom, there it is. And then fix this shadow. I'm just going to grab this and move it over here grab this uh, handle and push it to about here and then grab this handle and then oops and then move it to about right here and then grab this point and 
just trying to fix it and make it look like it it belongs there all right cool uh, and then I had to uh, arrange the sleeve move this point over here add an extra point right there boom right there and then just grab it and put it right here and then make it round make it round make that shoulder round uh, and then I just I think I just deleted this delete and this delete and so there's the upper arm there's the lower arm I did the same for the hand I just grabbed it and moved it down and then adjusted this to make it round adjusted this to make it round and that's all I did to part it out I grabbed the eyes, moved them over, and then made a copy, moved them over, and then just messed around with it here. I just closed the eyes a little bit. Uh, but that's exactly what I did. I also took the mouth off because I'm going to do the mouth shapes uh, in a separate file. So that's what I did to part it out. And then once I grabbed, once I did all the, I grabbed um, each part and I exported it uh, going to file export selection and here it is I export it as a PNG high resolution export asset and here are all of the uh, body parts here we've got the body uh, we've got the eyes we've got that hand the other hand the lower arm, the smile, and the upper arm. We're going to be bringing these um, um, PNGs into Blender uh, in a later video, but right now I just want to show you guys the process of getting everything ready, all the files, all the parts ready for Blender. Now for the lip syncing, all the mouth positions, I didn't go to I didn't go to iStock. I went to free pick. These are free. I'd rather do free. Uh, and so I, I saw all these mouth positions for lip sync and I downloaded it. Opened it up in Illustrator. I opened it up in Illustrator and here it is. Uh, the first thing I did is I got rid of the gradient. I'm going to show you how I got rid of the gradient. So what I did is I selected each lip. In fact, you could do both of them, but let's do one. See, here it is. It's a gradient. Remember, we can't import gradients into Blender with an SVG. So they have to be solid colors. Um, if you know how, then uh, uh, let me know in the comment section. But for me, I don't know how. Uh, I just know that we can't export uh, gradients into Blender. So I'm going to just select this one, select it, get the eyedropper, and then select this color. And then I can grab both of them, and I can select this one, but pretend that I don't have this one. This is the first one I do. Double click on this, and then get whatever shade of red you want. Say OK, and there it is, solid colors. So the second one's easier. Just select all your lips and then with the eyedropper, boop, select that one and then select those and then just get rid of all of the gradients and then get rid of all of this extra artwork. All of this, just hit delete and then I came up with something like this. Just the mouth shapes, all solid colors and I saved it as an SVG. In fact, this is the SVG, and I imported it into Blender that way. And so the last thing I downloaded was a background. Now, I haven't checked with the client on the background, but again, it's, it was free in um, FreePick. I selected a background, and here it is. I selected this background. And the cool thing with this is obviously, uh, guys, since it's vector, we could do anything we want. We could get rid of this, we can move it, we can delete it, we can do whatever we want, and then export um, a PNG out of this. So this is kind of the background, easy. I just left it 
I'm waiting to hear back if see if the client likes it but for now this is our file that we're going to import into blender and then this is the file parted out that we're going to, I showed you the parts that we are going to import into blender and here are all of the files that we've exported out of illustrator all as pngs in the next video we will uh, import them into blender and arrange them so that we have them exactly where we want them the eyes the mouth and the other body parts the arm and the hand arrange it where we want type out the word and then start animating hey guys i hope you liked the video if you liked the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys